Hi, my name is Simon Huber and I'm a senior pre-sales consultant here at Picus. Uh, in this short video, we're going to have a look at how you can use the Picus platform to simulate the uh, top 10 attacks as identified by the Picus Red Report uh, in 2023. Um, before we do that, we're just going to take a quick look at the dashboard. Uh, we'll run the simulation and have, come back and have a look at the results. So this is the main screen that you see when you log into the platform. Uh, in the Picus platform, we break everything down into prevention results and detection results, which means we, we, we test your prevention controls and your detection controls. So we can say in our environment right now, we're blocking 48% of the attacks being simulated and we're detecting 43% of the attacks that have been simulated. Below that, we have our security score graph, which gives us information um, over a longer period of time, in this case, the last 30 days. So we can get an understanding of the general trend in terms of our prevention and detection scores as I said, over an extended period of time. Below that, we have our attacks module breakdown, so we can start to get an understanding around how those scores are derived on an individual control level. So on the left-hand side, we've got a network infiltration attacks, so that's our perimeter firewalls, web application attacks uh, is our WAFs, uh, email gateways, our email infiltration attacks are our email gateway, and uh, then we've got some endpoint attacks there on the right hand side. And right at the very end, we've got our day trade filtration attacks, which we've not actually run uh, in this environment yet. OK, so if we wanted to understand how our environment would withstand um, or how it would stand up to the uh, top 10 attacks as identified by the Picus Red Report, we come straight over to our threat templates. We scroll right to the bottom to our suggested by Picus Labs team. Um, and so these are the, these are the attacks that our our lab team think that you should be uh, aware of, and maybe you want to simulate in your environment. And in the bottom left hand corner here, we've got the Red Report 2023 Top 10 Attack Techniques. Simply click, click on the tile, hit Simulate Now, find a free agent, hit the Simulate button, and away we go. The agent's going to do uh, a sort of handshake with the Pickers Manager, um, check in performance heartbeat checks and then the simulation will begin. Okay, that simulation is now underway and what we can do is we can come back once this uh, has finished and we'll still have a look at the results. Okay, we're on our simulations page now and I've already run uh, the Red Report attacks um, earlier. So we'll dive into the results here and we can see that actually from an overall perspective we're not doing particularly well um, in this environment in terms of each individual threat. We dive into the threats we can see uh, the kill chain that's involved in the threats and we can also see which individual actions were blocked and which ones were not blocked and we can even see which actions were detected by um, our ADR which in this case is CrowdStrike. We can also flick that across to um, our SIM integration which is Splunk. So if we dive into one of the threats now we can see the attack timeline, uh, we can see the result, we can see there's some MITRE information there in terms of what, what TTP this would fall under. Uh, we see the payload that was run, so you could independently verify this outside of the platform if you choose. We can see the terminal output here. Uh, we can see the log data, so in this case we can see the alerts that were generated by CrowdStrike, or if we want to have a look at the Splunk side, we can see the actual log that was captured um, or sent from the endpoint into Splunk, and we can also see the uh, alert that relates to this specific attacker action. If it was a situation where we didn't generate any log data or we didn't generate an alert, uh, we can dive into our detection content and what I'm about to highlight now is the uh, Windows audit policy settings that would need to modify in order to generate the relevant log data and then we also provide detection content in this case we're looking at a Sigma rule but if you were looking uh, at from a, a carbon black, key radar, arc site or Splunk perspective we can provide you uh, the, the, uh, the seam specific syntax for, for the search. Uh, so you can just copy and paste this and, and put that straight into your SIEM tool. So hopefully that's given you a good understanding of, of how you can verify your environment against uh, these attack techniques. Uh, for more information, uh, if you want to see the red report, uh, have a look at the details on screen at the moment. And uh, if you want to see more about the platform, please contact Pickers Sales. Thanks very much for watching.